You know warp drives, right? That classic sci-fi tech that lets spaceships fly faster than light? Yeah, turns out it's not quite what the movies told us. In shows like Star Trek, warp drives make it look like you just hit a button and boom, you're at another star system in seconds. But in real science, going faster than light is complicated. Let's break it down. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, nothing with mass can travel faster than the speed of light. So how do you get around that? Enter the Alcubierre drive, a real theoretical concept proposed in 1994 by physicist Miguel Alcubierre. It doesn't break the speed of light, instead it cheats it. Imagine a ship sitting inside a warp bubble. This bubble compresses space in front of the ship and expands space behind it. The ship itself isn't moving, space is. It's like standing still on a moving walkway. Except the walkway is space-time itself. Sounds awesome, right? But here's where things get tricky. To bend space that way, you'd need something called exotic matter. Stuff with negative energy density. And to generate the amount needed, early estimates said you'd need more energy than the entire mass of Jupiter. Some newer studies have brought that number down, but it's still way beyond what we can create or harness today. Also, exotic matter isn't something we've ever seen or built in a lab. It exists mathematically, but not physically, at least not yet. And even if we could build a warp drive, there are still questions. Would it cause deadly radiation? Could we even steer it? Could you survive the ride? So yeah, the idea of a warp drive isn't just sci-fi fantasy. It's grounded in real physics, but real life warp travel is still far out of reach. Maybe decades, maybe centuries. But the fact that it's not impossible, that's kind of amazing. If you love stuff like this, the line between science fiction and science fact Follow for more, because this universe, it gets weirder every day.